It says a company has three locations with 70,010 employees all together. Their first location has 34,857 employees. Their second location has 17,595 employees. Now here's the question. How many employees work in their third location? And we're going to use rounding to estimate. The first thing that we need to consider is what is the question? What do we need to find out for this word problem? And what we need to find out is how many employees work in their third location? So this seems to be my focus, my third location. So let's see, there's three locations. We have 70,010 employees all together. So I will make a mental note right here, all together. And we know that we have 70,010, and I just put M E M B for P for employees. The first location, and I write a note here, we know we have 34,857 E M P. And the second location we have, I just write second. We have 17,595 EMP for employees again. And it says how many employees work in their third location? This is what we know about the third location, which we don't know anything. So the third location is a question mark we don't know. But we do know how many we have for the first and second. So my first thought is to find out how many I have in my first and second since I need to find out all together. But the first thing I need to do is simply round. It said use rounding to estimate. So what I would like to do is round this to the nearest thousand. I like to use thousands. It didn't say round to the nearest thousands or round to the nearest ten thousand. But I'm choosing the nearest thousand. And so what I have underlined is the number that's in the thousands place. I have four. So this number right here in the hundreds place will determine if I'm going to round up or if that number will stay the same. And I know from previous studies, uh, from the previous lessons, I'll put it that way, is that if my number in the hundreds place is five or more, then the number in the thousands place will round up one more. So in that case, I have five or more. So this number is going to round up to five. So now I'm going to write this number as 30. Five and all my other numbers that are in my smaller units, I'm going to change that to zero. So 34,857 rounds to 35,000 to the nearest thousand. And likewise with this number in the second, my second location has 17,595. And I see here my hundreds place, that's going to move this up one more, which is going to be 8 because this is 5 or more. Now this is going to be 18 and all my smaller units will turn to 0. So this is what I know for my second, my first and second location when I round or estimate. So here I have first and second. Remember I don't know anything about my third location. So what I'm going to do with these two numbers is simply add them up. So this is 0, 0, 0. 5 plus 8 is 13, carry my 1 over. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So, for my first and second location, the total number of employees is 53,000. What's missing? I don't know my third location. But I do know how many I have all together. So what I need to do with this number is also, it says use rounding to estimate. Here is my number in 1,000. Here's my number and the smaller unit which is in 100 which will determine if I need to round this up or stay the same in this case this number is 0 so that number will stay the same so this is 70,000 so what I need to do from here is take what I found out my sum for my first and second location and subtract it from this number so what I'm going to do is pull this to the side I have 70,000 Mine is 53,000. And it's going to simply subtract that now. Now, since I'm, I have 0 in the 1, 0 in the 10, 0 in the 100s, I'll just simply write 
those numbers as zero. So now, I go back to my series of questions. Can I subtract zero minus three? No, I can't. But I can borrow from the ten thousands place. And what I would do is take a ten thousand, borrow a ten thousand from here, and I will move that group of ten to my thousands place, which I will make zero ten now. And now, can I subtract ten minus three? Yes. Can I subtract six minus five? Yes. So what is ten minus three? That will be seven. And what is six minus five? That will be one. So I know for my third location now, after subtracting uh, how many employees all together minus my first and second location, that will let me know how many employees I have for my third location. So this is all. This is first and second, and this would be my third location. So I know now how many I have for my third location, which is 17,000. You remember, we are rounding to estimate. So this is my answer.